Hi friends, it's Elizabeth with Science and Stories at Echo. Only, I'm not at Echo, I'm at home today. Are you at home too? Yeah, usually I'm with you at Echo or in your classroom at school. But today I'm at home and you're at home and I'm thankful I can be with you like this. So let's start with our song. Sing it with me. Hello to everyone and how are you today? We've come to our story time to laugh and sing and play. And when you're up, you're up. Put your hands way up high. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. So roll your hands so slow. Make them go so slow. And roll your hands so fast, super fast. And give your hands a clap, clap, clap. And lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Good job. I also brought my science bag with me today. I bring it every time to Science and Stories. There's always something different inside. I wonder what it is today. Let's be scientists and investigate. We can investigate by asking questions and using all of our senses to try and figure out what's inside the science bag. We can use our eyes to see, our ears to hear. We'll use our nose to smell and our mouth to taste. And we can use our fingers to touch. And then we'll learn so much. Are you ready? All right. Use your eyes. Take a look. Whatever's in there fills up my whole bag today. And if I use my fingers to feel it, it feels soft and squishy. Yeah, let's use our ears and hear. Listen, see if it makes a sound. You ready? Listen close. Did you hear anything? I hear some rustling. If I use my fist and do a knock, let's see if it sounds hard. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, it's sort of like knocking on a pillow. Yeah. I'm not going to taste it today. No, we won't taste. But if I throw it up in the air, use your eyes and see if you can tell how heavy it is. It might come down really light or it might come down with a thud in my hand. Use your eyes and your ears. You ready? One, two, three. Oh, it went up really high and came down pretty light in my hands. It's not too heavy. Do you think you might have an idea about what's inside? What's your best guess? Make a prediction about what I'm going to pull out of the science bag. Do you have it? All right, should I pull it out? Let's do it. Ooh, there's a clue. Do you see that something's sticking out right there? Huh, do you know what it is? Let's pull on it. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful red bandana. Oh, there's more. What else is coming? What color is this? Orange. And more. Yellow. Do you think there'll be more? What's next? Green. Blue and purple. That was the end. Oh my goodness. Look at all of these beautiful colors. It's like all the colors of the rainbow. All these colors make me so happy. It's a little dreary right now in Vermont. Yeah, it's the end of winter, but the spring colors haven't yet arrived. So all these colors make me happy to see them. All of these beautiful colors make me think about maybe doing some science with these colors. Like, I wonder what would happen if we started to mix these colors together. What if we mixed red with yellow? What would happen? What color would we get? Hmm. I'm wondering about that. Let's do some research and see what we can find out about mixing colors. I've got a great book. Sometimes when scientists want to learn more, they use books to read about what they want to learn about. Let's do that with White Rabbit's Color Book by Alan Baker. Are you ready? Let's see what happens. There's White Rabbit. 
Ooh, White Rabbit has found some paint pots. One day, White Rabbit found three big tubs of paint. Red, yellow, and blue. Hmm, I can tell that White Rabbit is wondering about these paints. Wonder what he's going to do. Let's find out. Sunshine yellow, she thought. Lovely. Do you think that White Rabbit's going to take a paintbrush and paint with the yellow paint? Hmm. Oops, a quick dip and, oh, that was surprising. She got in. She hopped right into the yellow paint. Yellow Rabbit, bright as the sun. Now, what about red, thought Rabbit. She hopped right into red. If you mix yellow and red, what happens? We're about to find out, I think. What's this, orange rabbit? Look, red and yellow together make orange. Time for a wash, thought rabbit. Oh, good. Get all that paint off. That's got to feel good. What's next? Red on its own this time. Splash. Back she went right into the paint pot. Red Rabbit sizzling hot red. How cool blue looks, thought Rabbit. What do you think's gonna happen next? If you mix red and blue, you get... What's this? Purple Rabbit, look, red and blue together make purple. I'm a very important royal rabbit. Princess Purple Rabbit in the shower. Blue will do, thought Rabbit. And back in the blue went the rabbit. Blue rabbit, icy cold blue. Burr! How warm yellow looks, thought rabbit. What's this? Blue and yellow make green? Look, blue and yellow together do make green. Oh dear, no more water. Is white rabbit going to now be green rabbit? All that's left is a little red paint. Now what would happen, thought Rabbit. Hooray, brown Rabbit. Lovely warm brown. Blue, yellow, and red together make brown. And brown's just right for me. The end. I think it would be fun to mix up some colors of our own. Do you think we can get all those colors that Rabbit was able to get as she hopped from paint pot to paint pot? You want to try it with me? Let's do it. Let's do some color mixing together. I have brought some science tools with me. Aren't they fun? These are graduated cylinders and they're filled with colored water. In this one we have and in this one? And what color is in this one? That's right, yellow, red, and blue. Do you remember that White Rabbit started by jumping into a pot of yellow paint? I'm not gonna jump into this graduated cylinder of yellow paint. Instead, I'll pour the colors together. Do you remember what happens when Yellow Rabbit or White Rabbit went into the yellow paint? and then jumped into the red paint. If you mix yellow and red, you get, should we try? Ready? Let's see what happens. One, two, three. What's happening? If you mix yellow and red, you get orange. Wow was almost like magic. It's mixing slowly all the way to the bottom of the graduated cylinder. Let's see what happens with red and blue. Do you remember? If you mix red and blue, you get... Let's see. One, two, three. <gasps> That 
That is so great. Red and blue make purple. One more to try. We're starting with blue this time. We're going to pour in yellow. What's going to happen? Do you remember? If you mix blue and yellow, you get... Let's find out. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, that is so great. Look at that beautiful green we made. Wow, that is so fun. You can do this at home too. Using a cookie tray and get an adult to help you mix food coloring with water. I mixed mine in a test tube. I've got a test tube with red water and a test tube with blue water. And I'm using these other science tools called eyedroppers. Our scientists call them pipettes. Pipettes are really good at moving small amounts of water one, from one place to another. I'm going to mix, move my blue water over to my red water and see what I get. But you can use anything that you have at home. You can use plastic cups, Tupperware, maybe some measuring cups, or measuring spoons, just regular spoons, and set up a whole color mixing science lab of your own. I also made a picture. I did some more color mixing science on a piece of paper with some paint. Usually when I paint, I use these tools, paint brushes, but this time I painted with something different. Can you tell what I use to paint this picture with? To do my color mixing science painting? I'll show you. I used balloons. I painted with balloons. That's a little silly, but it was really fun. Which paint should I use with this balloon? Yeah, I'm going to put it in my red paint. How about this one? I'll put it in my yellow paint. And this one I'm going to put into my blue paint. Do you have some balloons at home? You could try this too. Dip your balloon in the paint and then mix it with all the colors on your piece of paper. If you don't have balloons at home, you could use a cork or a piece of sponge, or of course you could use paint brushes to do your color mixing. Give it a try. Thanks for being with me today. I'm looking forward to seeing you again next time. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.